Hello, everybody. We are back here on Uncut Hunts. You guys loved episode one where we talked about stuff we'd like to see in Call of the Wild, but thought would probably never happen. Uh, things like Bigfoot and 50 cals and RPGs and just fun things like that. Uh, today's episode, we once again are joined by Brobra, and uh, we're going to talk about things we'd like to see in the game that actually have a pretty good chance of eventually being added. So the more uh, realistic things that we could see get added. Uh, realistic in terms of like, I could see them doing it, you know? So let's get straight into it. Uh, I'm going to start us off. I think the number one thing that I would like to see is uh, trail cameras. Well, not necessarily number one, but the first thing on my list is trail cameras. I mean, uh, and I'm sure Brobro would love to see this type of a thing as well. Imagine being able to look down at your phone and instead of it being useless and kind of only like showing tracks, you could actually see like an option to to check your mounted up cameras and see what's over there before you go there. I think that could be really cool. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that would be awesome. Um, I think really where I think that would come into come in handy. There's two two things for me. Everybody knows me. I play last, you know, fast and loose over here. I uh, I'm uh, running and gun. So it does help me to know, like, would I wait for them to go to a drink zone? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But it would help me to know, like, OK, I've got a couple of trail camps set up over there. I don't need to run that top fourth quadrant, you know, of my map to see if there's anything over there. Like, I know there's nothing over there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, and you're going to know you're going to be able to speak to this a little bit more, but I think that would really, really add a really cool aspect to the grinding event for those folks who like to grind and kind of set up their maps. Oh, I definitely. Awesome. I think the best use that I would find for it is like um and i wouldn't even put it at like the zones that i hunt i would put it at the ones that are like close by that maybe sometimes occasionally get a deer i just kind of set them up over there and uh just check the cameras to see if i've got any new deer that show up i think that would really uh it would save a lot of time so instead of having to go across the whole map and check i could just check the cameras and see uh what's going on over there I think they definitely have to put a limit on how many cams you can have, though. Like, maybe 16 cams per reserve, similar to tents. I think that would probably be a, a fair limit for them. It would definitely yeah. be a really cool thing, though. Uh, we got some peccaries up here, if you want to come over this way. There's a male peccary that just called. Ooh, he might get the 308 treatment. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to get whatever treatment I can give him. I've got a... Uh, I've got... Guns for everything. I might try to Glock him if I can get close enough. I, I don't know if we can, though. So what is something that you would really like to see, Brobra? What would I mean, you like to see added? I think... You might have to speak thing, up as well. It's not yeah. uh, picking up super great. Okay, my top thing that I definitely would um, want to see is just for me personally, because I love to hunt birds especially upland birds. They're my favorite. I love like bird dogs that could flush birds for me. So I don't, so like I could just like send them out and then they'll flush like in a certain, you know, like a, like a 50 or a hundred meter radius. They'll flush everything. I would love that or, um, ones that could retrieve or maybe a little bit of both. Maybe I can get them to flush that, you know, I have a command for flush and a command for retrieve and they'll just retrieve any small game that I've got down in a certain radius or something. That would help out a lot. I think it'd be super cool um, to have added to the game. And I think there's bird dogs in uh, the Hunter Classic, right? Yeah, there is. The Classic has retrievers, pointers, and hounds, I believe. I think they oh, have all of them. Great. A pointer would be good. Yeah, that pointers would be, uh, would be completely amazing. That would be awesome. And I just, I spend so much time hunting birds, upland birds and stuff. Because I think they're just one of my favorites too. Are you walking? Yeah. Yeah, I'm walking. Because uh, we're, we're like right on top of the peccaries. Yeah, exactly. We'll just run up to them and block. Yep. Okay. I mean, sure. I got the, uh, go. I got the Glock cool. and it's time to pop, pop, pop. Let's see. I'm going to go iron sights. Where are they? Place. These things are, these things are mean. They'll go. They really are. They'll go are. 
Yeah, I've been attacked by a few of them when I was trying to get a get a diamond one and failed miserably. Okay. Here, I got. I don't tracks see them. This way. Well, if some if that some idiot wasn't just sprinting at them, might not have run off. Yeah, I, don't yeah, know I wonder who did been. that. I don't know who that was. I wonder who did that. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh man. No, yeah. What about you? What's your? What's another thing that you're looking for? I mean, the thing that I've stated the most throughout my entire time playing this game, that the number one thing I've always wanted to see in Call of the Wild, and yeah, I, I know with the trail cameras, I misspoke and said number one thing, and then corrected myself. But this actually is the number one thing I'd like to see. I really want to see non-typicals. The Hunter Classic has non-typicals, and they are one of the coolest things to come across because. They're a pretty rare encounter. Not as rare as a rare fur type, but very close. And whenever you see it, you immediately know, like, oh, that's a non-typical. That that's a crazy non-typical. And they they just look so incredible. And in real life, they're a very sought-after trophy. And I, I just feel like it's strange that we don't have them in Call of the Wild. We've got forms of it with the Great One Moose and the Great One Whitetail, but that's not really like a non-typicals feature that generates like random non-typicals. So I'd, I'd love to see some type of non-typical system for all antlered species. Like imagine walking up to a Roosevelt elk and it's just got giant non-typical antlers. I, that would just be so cool. So I guess here's one of my questions on that. Um, the true rack system is that that's not, it's just generating random like combinations of, of racks, right? It's not like actually generating anything that'd be considered non-typical. Yeah, there is no non-typicals currently in the game. Okay. I mean, there is a few racks for like mule deer that could be considered non-typicals just because they have like uh, flyers off the side. But actually, I don't know if that classify as a deer as a non-typical. It might just be okay. like abnormal tines on a uh, on a typical deer. I think that I think that's how it's scored. I don't know. Not a big. Uh, I don't really know a lot about IRL scoring except like the basics. Okay, okay, yeah. I just I don't know too much about the two racks. I just know it's it kind of like helps um, racks be randomly generated, so you get some of the wonky stuff and everything. Yeah, and like a lot of what True Racks currently does, from what I've seen, is it just uh, makes it so different tines are bent differently. Like tip to tip spread is different from deer to deer. Okay, uh, little things like that, but. It would be nice no. to see something like the Hunter Classic where like time length can be generated differently. And I think that would really work well with non-typicals, like being able to get a non-typical and having uh, it, it, it would probably still have to be set racks similar to what we see now. I don't think right. they could deviate off of that. It would have to be set racks still. But if they could make it so time length was also random, then that would still make each non-typical that you get look quite different from the last. Right, right. Okay, okay. I could dig that. I could definitely dig that. You know me. I, I like my small game, so I don't put a whole lot of time into... Non-typical jackalope. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Incredible. Okay. I take everything I just said back. I'm into it. I want non it. Non-typical uh, jackalopes. Let's go. Okay, we, we've quickly deviated off of stuff we could see to stuff we probably will never <laughs> see. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll go back to another one I want. Okay. This one, I think everybody... I think I think everybody would be down for this. This is very common uh, request, but um, squirrels. I'd love to have squirrels for sure. Squirrels would be the ultimate small game. Like it would be so fun. I just is it. I feel like tree hitboxes might be an issue, right? Yeah, like I don't think they'd be able to get them to climb trees. Like that would be a lot of work, I imagine. So. Yeah. If they did squirrels, they, they'd they probably not climb trees. Or I, I feel like that's probably why they've never added them, because people expect them to be able to climb trees, and yeah, yeah. I doubt they'd be able I to wonder, do that right now. I wonder if they could do certain right? So maybe if they added, like, a new asset, right? It's a new tree, and it's a completely new asset that works with the squirrels. So when the squirrels, maybe they're on the ground a lot, and then whenever you spook them, they run to their designated home tree that is different than our current trees that we have. And they go I mean, up maybe. into those. And then they go up into those. 
and it's kind of like you can still shoot them off there, but it works like a like a rabbit burrow. Like they go like so they like shoot. not not as like a not as their actual zone, but like they can spook off and run to those trees. Yeah, they run to those trees. So okay. they so maybe they're like on a feed zone on the ground, right? And then you run and you spook them up. Then they run to those designated trees because they maybe those trees are hollow and they've got their nest in there. So it works like a rabbit burrow. So they disappear into that particular tree. And it's just that's how they work. But maybe you can still shoot them off the tree a little bit. But if they get far enough up the tree, you know, that would maybe. actually be pretty cool. Not going to lie. That'd be pretty cool. I think that would be a, a good way to do it. Because then they wouldn't have to do any like massive rework of how trees work in the game or anything. They could right. just add new ones to like whatever whatever map would have them in it. That actually right. would be pretty cool. Uh, I see this bobcat gonna. I think I hit it. I don't know. I, I think I definitely hit it. I saw it flinch, but it wasn't yeah. a good shot at all. That the was... poor thing. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking like that because I remember they so like because they had to rework trees a little bit when the, the tree stand DLC came out, right? Uh, I would imagine. Yeah, they would have to because before then they didn't have anything that went on trees. So, yeah, they would have had to rework it. So maybe they could do something like that where they have like a particular asset. They just have to randomly generate those new assets in the maps. And yeah, then, maybe. You know, oh, that'd be if they if they added like squirrels to old maps. That'd mm -hmm. be such a tall task having to go back and like redo some trees, replace some trees like, ooh, right. that would right. be rough. I feel like if we ever get squirrels, it would have to be with a brand new map. Um, that would just simplify it. Oh my gosh, Jack there's bobcats Jack everywhere. I know jackrabbits white. Um, They can be kind of whitish. This one's like really white. Like really, really white? Yeah, like very white. Like like albino white is what you're saying <laughs> yeah huh well then uh that's interesting <laughs> like very white i've i've got it over ah, here i missed i'm gonna see if i can um pick up got its track here yeah see if you can find a disturbed vegetation is this its track was it a female nope male male okay Cause I just picked up the tracks from a female. Yeah, I've Dude, got your a dog. I thought it was a bobcat. Oh no, man! Let's get him. I almost took a shot. I almost did it. Let's yep. see. Can I find? That's there's two tracks from females. Two different females. I don't see a track from a male. I just got it right here. I I literally saw him. Right here. Apparently, I killed. Oh, oh what you got the? pronghorn coming right at you. I do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's weird. We're getting run over here. Oh my. Well, His that was interesting. Is, um... You find it? Yeah, I found it. Okay, yeah, you're cutting out again, so I couldn't quite oh, tell. I'm mumbling, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so he's over here going this way. Let me see if I can get any disturbed veg. All right. From him. You it should find some like, eventually. He was like very white. Yeah. I mean, they, they do kind of look that way, though, sometimes. Nope. Like in, in the right lighting, they do look bright. I don't see any other tracks from him at all. Huh. I wish I could find. Oh, I just picked up his track. He's gray. Are you sure? I just picked a. It's a male. 2.82 to 3.45. No, it's still 3 to 4. Really? Huh. Yeah. Okay, then, yeah, that's a different one. Well, interesting. All right, well, I guess while we're chasing that, it, I'll get to the next the thing. Is that the track? No, that's a pronghorn. That's a pronghorn. Uh, but the next thing that I'd really like to see, um, obviously, this is something everybody wants to see. Including myself. I would love to see either Africa 2.0 or Australia come to the game. I think it's no secret at this point that most people want to see that. It would just be, it would be so huge for the game. Like, if we could get Africa 2.0 or Australia at some point down the line, it would be just a game changer. And I feel like it would be the most popular releases they could ever have. I, I think that would be, yeah. 
Both of those would be great. Oh no, this is a two to three, so that might be him. It might be him. Yeah. Yeah. If this is the one you picked up, yeah. It's yeah, it's it's a gray. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that it's a gray. Yep, it's a gray. Okay. Whew. I was I was freaking out for a second. Thank no, you that no, you no, found no. an albino. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, uh, can I take that off your map, please? Thanks. Uh, <laughs> oh, that would be that would be awesome. Just there's so many things in Africa. Um, and I saw on the survey, too, they asked about endangered species. And like they asked, like, how would like if we put endangered species, how would you guys do it? Would you be okay with that? You know, like that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Like for like elephants, for example. You know, I said, like, at the end of the day, you know, you could I, I think you could do something like elephants and then, you know, maybe a portion of the like a small portion of the proceeds goes to elephant conservation or like uh, hunting, like, you know, hunting um, um, education, you know, right? Like, yeah, definitely. Like, like conservation yeah. for sure. Yep. That's been a suggestion yeah. I've seen floating around for years at this point for like how they could get something like elephants in the game. Oh yeah, that rabbit was gray. I just killed a female that uh, looked very bright, and I picked it up, and it is a gray. Okay. Whew. So yeah, I think we're I think we're good. I don't think there was a rare here. I think we're good. Though I I would have preferred that there was a rare here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely would have uh, preferred it. In terms yeah. of like um reserves that they could add like with that type of stuff i feel like the more likely one would be australia though just because they wouldn't have to tiptoe around like whether they add elephants or not or anything like that and i mean at this point we kind of know that their stance on elephants has been uh not exactly the most like likely to happen right. but it seems recently they've kind of been loosening up a little bit though i still don't think it's gonna happen um, right. I definitely think that Australia is more likely because they could they could literally just do a combination of what we see on the Australian reserves in the Hunter Classic. That game's got a lot of really cool species, and I'd love to see like a map that has similarities to those at some point. I think that yeah. would be much much more likely than uh, Africa 2.0. As long but, as I could box a kangaroo, I'd be down for Australia. <laughs> like just actually start throwing fists at like, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. And as long as I could have a, a knife, like a crocodile Dundee <laughs> size knife, a then yeah. then I'm okay with Australia. Um, also, I'd like to be able to have to watch out for poisonous snakes. No, poisonous snakes, snakes. Yeah, that'd be really cool. That'd be terrifying. Um, no, Australia would be cool. Um, can you hunt kangaroos? Is that a game animal? Yeah, it is. Like uh, in in classic, you can hunt the kangaroos, and in real life, you hunt oh. them as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I believe they're actually too. quite a nuisance. If I if I'm remembering right, I think they're quite a nuisance, which is why White you're allowed tail. to hunt them, and they're like White very overpopulated. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> overpopulated, a nuisance. They they just let you have at them. I dig it. I dig it. Um, oh, there's a rabbit. I guess you can do crocodiles. If they've got alligators, they can obviously do crocodiles. Um, yeah, definitely. They could do that with Africa as well, like Yeah, they could they could do Nile crocodiles. They've got a lot of stuff that they could repurpose at some point, so yeah. it'd be nice to see some things like that. Uh what else could they So in Africa 2.0, obviously the Greater Kudu. Um, oh, Greater and... Kudu would be a must. I mean, I mean, they we already had that scenario where Jaxi said Greater Kudu were being backfilled yeah. on Verhonga, and then it was like, oh nope, that was an old list or something, and he got him mixed up, and yep. then it ended up being Widgeons instead. So okay. I mean, that means that at That's some point crazy. they were talking about Greater Kudu. That is they true. had yeah, to. They, they at least we're kicking around the idea. At least we're kicking around the idea, which is awesome. There, there is so many cool things in Africa you could do. Uh, oh, definitely. I mean, I there's mean, hundreds of antelope. It, that's just antelope. There's hundreds of different species. Yeah, you could even do a map that kind of like... I don't know. I, I'd have to look it up because I'm not super great on my geography over there. But maybe if there's a possibility where you could get like um, a map where like... Like there's... Where like the Congo meets the savannah almost... Where so like a uh, like a jungle and like a savanna plains area yeah. as well. Yeah, like something like that, like where it kind of you get a little bit of both. 
That yeah. would be pretty crazy. Though, like, uh, I think if they ever do an African reserve again, I feel like it would be, like, West Africa because that's what they've always put in their polls on YouTube, asking, oh. like, what maps we'd like to see in the future. Like, West Africa was, like, stated right on that poll. And I think maybe in one of the surveys as well. So okay. I think we would be more likely to get, like, a Western Africa. I, I don't know if it's got a combination of savanna and jungle. Uh, it might. I, I don't really sure. know too much about it, so I'd have to look it up. But yeah, I think it is like a more like jungly area. Okay, that would be cool. That would Definitely. Be cool. I have a whole lot of. I mean, so there. I always say a jungle map would be cool because we don't have one. Um, at the same time, um, at the same time, we also. Um, I know I would probably complain about not being able to see anything in a jungle map. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> no, think a lot of people would, but it'd be so cool. Look, it's a jungle map, but I can't see anything. This stinks. I hate hunting here. It'd be like Hirschfeld on like steroids. Yeah, so. <laughs> it'd be like the forests of Tiabaroa, but worse. Right, right, right. And um, let me let me leave you with something really quick. I gotta go. I gotta go um, answer my front door real quick. And okay. Like a hunt, so you've got to do this. Let me leave this with you. Trapping. Could you do it? Yes or no? You discuss it out loud. Think about it, and then come back to me here in a second. Okay. Trapping. I. I don't think it would be a likely thing to get added, but I think if the demand was high enough for it, they could implement something that's similar or some form of trapping. I could see it maybe happening, but I. I don't think it would be likely just because. I guess that could be seen as more cruel. I, I guess it depends on if it's live trapping or if it's like bear traps where you just like trap a uh, a bear's leg. I guess I guess it was like li if it was like live trapping and then you can just shoot it in the cage. Yeah, I don't think they would. Now that I think of it, that doesn't seem like it would fit Call of the Wild that well. Doesn't seem like it at all. It doesn't seem like something EW would do. Even though it's a very common thing IRL and a lot of people do it. I mean, growing up, we, we used to trap stuff as well. Like things that would be like a terrorizing our farm or stuff like that. So like I, trapping is a very, very common and popular thing. I think it could happen. I don't know. I think it could happen, but I don't think, I don't think they would do it. Is there, okay. Were there any un, like unethical aspects of it that you think maybe they would shy away from it for? Maybe. I mean, the biggest thing, it depends on the type of trapping, right? Because there's you can trap smaller critters in live mm -hmm. traps. Beavers. And then you also have like the uh, like bear traps and stuff like that, which a bear trap, I don't think they would do that because uh, yeah. that would probably change the types of ratings their game would get. Yeah. And sure. I could see it being like a not so popular thing because it's not exactly like a quick painless death usually. Yeah. So I don't think I they would do that. do that type of trapping. Live traps I could see, but then like you just trap it and just shoot it in the cage, which that probably would not fly with some people either. So <laughs> maybe you I, could, I don't know if like, they would like, ever do it. Maybe it's like a like a, it's in the cage and you just go up to it and you click claim. And then it just goes to your trophy. <laughs> Maybe, but right. I mean, <laughs> like I you don't show anything, and it just it just that's what you do. You just claim it, and and then you know taxidermized trophy. Maybe. I couldn't see that. <laughs> I couldn't see that work. There would be no like excitement in uh in getting a good trophy then, because it would just be that's like, true. oh, that's I trap I trapped a diamond. I, I got to walk up and. Clicky, I never shot it or anything. At that point, you might at that point you might as well just start playing the angler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you're just casting away randomly, opening your fishing for a diamond or something. I get Pretty that. Yeah. much. Yeah, that one's probably that one's probably the least likely out of all the ones we've talked about. It's highly requested though. Like, there's no shortage of people that want to see it. I just don't think it would fit Call of the Wild very well. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Maybe Way of the Hunter. But not Call of the Wild. I think a whole different game based on trapping would be better. There actually is a game on Steam called like a trapping simulator or Trapper's Life or something that is fully like based around like trapping. 
and we're not okay. talking about the the rap term of trapping either. We're talking right. about uh, uh you know, trapping animals and yeah. uh, eating them and building your you can build your own traps, I believe, as well. I don't know if the game will ever release. Okay. It's been on Steam like coming soon for ages. Gotcha. But There's it could a be cool. whaling simulator on Steam. That's I really. Or you're just whale release. watching. <laughs> no, you're you're like actually hunting. You're actually whaling. Oh wow! Like you're whaling in like the 1600s. Um, yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, but anyways, uh, do you have another one? Because I only have one more. Yeah, I only got one more too. The last thing that I'd really like to see that I think is very possible in the future is new fur types for existing animals. Uh, because Ooh. for things like white-tailed deer, black-tailed deer, in, in real life they have leucistics. And they're actually more common than albinos, but we don't have those in Call of the Wild. And yeah, I, I've yeah. never understood why we don't, because it would be really good. It would be awesome to have like more rares for some of the older species. And I think the only reason they don't have more rares is because at first, the original species, they only had like, for the most part, the basic rares like piebald, mela, albino, with a few exceptions like the black gold wild boar. But it, uh, it was pretty cookie cutter with the types of rares we would get. And then as time has gone on, we get more uh, cool and fancy rares that we hadn't seen before. And so I definitely think a, a pass through on old species and giving them new rares and stuff would be really good. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you could you could probably lump in like uh, better true racks for some of the older species as well, like a rework to stuff like Whitetail and uh, stuff like Roosevelt Elk. Like yeah. I could see that being lumped in with like a fur type update as well. And I mean, albino oh. black bear. That's a huge one that we don't have in the game. That's true. That is true. I see. I just how much work is that though? Is that to be a honest, ton of I don't work? know. Because that's that would be. Oh oh! I got. I'm getting respawned. Um. That would be the thing that I would. The only thing I think really deter them is like how much time would that take? Is that gonna you know? Is that gonna be something that they would? I don't know. That's gonna be really wanted enough to where people would prefer that over new maps i don't know that might be one yeah of those i don't know if they would prioritize it like a business decision or something i could point. see it maybe being like a like a late in the game's life cycle type of thing like if you look at the hunter classic after they stopped adding new maps to classic they yeah. just went through and kind of redid a bunch of older stuff that needed a bit of touching up like they reworked the turkeys and right, right, i think right. a few other species as well they uh, gave some more variations to yeah, yeah. some species. I think it was like Axis deer and a couple others got a bunch of like new fur types and things like that. Maybe it was Axis deer. I can't remember, but a few I animals can't. got new fur types. Okay. And so I could see that maybe being an end of the life cycle of the game type of update, maybe. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. I think that's probably true. It would, because I mean, like, think about like. It would extend like the life cycle of like grinding. You know what I mean? Like by Oh time. yeah, definitely. It'd be like, like oh I got a bunch of new stuff to look for. Right, like non-typicals plus that would be a great way, like because right now there is so much content in this game already. Like I'm not even I haven't even scratched the surface of all the trophies I could get at this point. So if you added those things, that would be like thousands of new trophies coming. Oh, definitely. To go for. Um uh, that would that would be pretty cool. I, a little bob I am being attacked by collared peccaries, so. Huh? Not vital. Maybe that second shot landed. Um, so, I think that the last thing that I think for me is more small game on the maps. More small game, more birds. You don't even have to add a whole bunch if you add, what, like, I don't know, like, they're already doing that. They've already added a ton of bird species and stuff. Like with Rev, it kind of just opened the floodgates of the small game. So oh, for sure. Rev was like, like a huge turning point for like small game and upland right. bird hunting. Right. I think they really turned a page on that one. But I think also like, you know, stuff like beavers. You know what I mean? Beavers would be so cool. And it's kind of already a fun little like thing in the community. You know, like oh, the yeah. Beavers, everybody the wants beavers. Thing. Everybody wants to get revenge on the beavers for eating their tents. I think that'd be that would so be, nice. I think that would be excellent. Uh, like stuff like that. You could do like Pine Martin too. 
um, like in Yukon and uh, like other like little small game species that are all over. Um, they already got raccoons, which was great. Uh, but you can even like you can even like move some stuff around. Like you don't even have to have a large population of small game. Like um, like you could put like a couple like fox like red fox zones on SRP or a couple coyote zones on SRP. And, yeah, uh, like make it a not not the focal point of the map, but like it's a right. side species where yeah, there's a just, few of them here and there. Yeah, that I don't think that would hinder performance because I imagine a lot of the reason that they don't do like. 30 species on one map is probably performance reasons right, if they were to like right. put a ton of them in all the zones and yeah it could just right. get crazy but yeah if they just, just put a like, couple of an animal here and there a couple here and there and it's just like a little something so it's like oh i got an srp red fox which is like kind of rare because you know like there's not very many fox zones on srp or something you know what i mean like something like yeah that, i think but add just like a little a new layer so, yeah i could see that being pretty interesting mm-hmm Give me one quick second. Um, if you want to keep hunting, my dad is here. Well, um, I think yeah. we pretty much covered everything okay. anyway, so I think we can just go ahead and end it there. Bro, bro, thank Excellent. you for uh, dropping by for the hunt once again. Lots of fun, Perfect. as always. Always, buddy, always. And thank you guys for watching. This was a fun one going over all the stuff that we'd like to see in the game that we think has a decent chance of eventually coming to the game. And uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy the video. A lot of fun as always. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click that like button and hit the bell as well so that you will be notified when I post videos. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.